Good morning. Greetings from the North Carolina Council of Churches and welcome to our Lift Your Heart video series. Actually, welcome to the last video in our Lift Your Heart video series. And I know some of you are going to go, no, what do you mean? What's going on? What's happening? Yes, this is the last video in our Lift Your Heart video series. Uh, moving forward, we will be finding um, different ways and opportunities to connect with you and offer support and for you to be able to connect and share with us as we continue to move forward during these uncertain times. I am Nicole Johnson, one of the associate directors in the Partners in Health and Wholeness program for the North Carolina Council of Churches. I oversee denominational support and special projects. Uh, so it probably comes as no surprise then that I think about uh, health and wholeness a lot, all the time, actually. Uh, not just the health of individuals, but also the health of community and what that looks like. So today I want to offer a passage of scripture. It comes from Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. So the Gospel of Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. The greatest commandment. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So the reason I chose this passage of scripture is because during these times I have been thinking, as usual, about community and what it looks like uh, to be in community, what it looks like to be healthy and whole in community. And so I frame that question a lot of times around this passage of scripture. What does it look like to love God? with all of one's heart and with all of one's soul and with all of one's mind. What does it look like to love my neighbor as much as I love myself? So during these times when um, we can't gather together in our faith communities and the different ways that we worship, when we don't come together in person and sing, or when we disagree on whether or not we can and should be coming together in worship or when we are thinking about should I or should I not wear a mask? Um, should I have social gatherings or not? What does it look like? And so I frame a lot of those questions about health, individual health and the health of a community in the context of loving God and loving neighbor. And so some of the questions that I ask myself is, am I practicing kindness? Am I loving fiercely? Am I seeing people for who they truly are? And is my heart and my soul open to loving them as they are in the places where they are? And so during this time, as things continue to be uncertain, as we try to figure out what it looks like to um, be a part of our communities and we try to figure out what it looks like to be a community. I would remind you to frame those questions within the context of loving God and loving your neighbor as yourself and to ask yourself, am I practicing kindness? Am I loving fiercely? Am I seeing people truly? I don't think God asks much more than that from us. To love God with our whole selves and to love our neighbor as ourselves. And for us to love our neighbor as ourselves, we'd have to love ourselves as well. So thank you. Thank you for being willing to be present with us for these mornings. Thank you for being willing to listen to us 
to watch our videos, to offer your comments, um, for sending us emails. And this is one of the ways that we have been trying to practice kindness. One of the ways that we have been trying to love all of you fiercely. Um, one of the ways that we have been trying to see you truly and hear you. And so I would like to just offer a quick prayer. God of the heavens and the earth, we thank you for community. We thank you, God, that we are created in your image. We thank you that we are created to be not just individuals, but people with minds and bodies and souls who exist in community. We ask God that you continue to show us the ways to be in community that urges us to practice kindness, that urges us to love fiercely, that urges us to see truly. Amen. So, and since this is our last video, um, I am supposed to tell you and invite you to go to our website, nchurches.org. And on our website, you will be able to find uh, the future opportunities that will be coming after the end of our Lift Your Heart video series, which is today. Today, um, you can go to our website and you can find, we'll be having some town halls, I've heard, virtually. And we'll be having some webinars virtually. And we'll be having, um, through our Partners in Health and Wholeness program, we'll be having what we are calling Sacred Conversations. And so we invite you to go to our website to check those out. Um, there'll be opportunities for you to register. What we're hoping is that people will be able to join by phone or by, um, by uh, Zoom. A lot of us are on Zoom lately um, by video, video chat. Um, and also maybe even by, I think some of it will be on Facebook Live. And we'll be looking at different topics, everything ranging from healthcare um, to climate and the environment and um, prayers and health and wholeness and worshiping during these times. So I encourage you to continue to visit our Facebook page, uh, to connect with us on Twitter, and also to go to our website, ncchurches.org. And thank you. Thank you for being with us on these videos and showing up. It has been an honor and a blessing. Thank you. Bye.